Hi everyone, I am going to show you how to use the brambleberry.com lie calculator. And this is fairly easy, but it's set up more for people that already have a pretty good idea of how to create recipes. That This one is just pretty much you're just looking for how much um, water and lye you need. And this one is set up for 33% water too. So if you want to figure out um, something different, you're going to have to calculate it yourself, which is really easy to do. And I have all this information in my book as well. But um, you just take your ounces of oils and you multiply it by whatever percent you want for your water. So if you have 56 ounces of oils, you're going to multiply that by 40%. And that's going to give you the water amount that you want. So just know if you're using this one, it's uh, default set up for 33% water. And I'll walk you through um, one of my recipes. But when I create recipes, I am thinking about the design factor. Like what do I want to do with it? Um, you know, do I care if it's going to trace fast? Do I care... If I need more time to work with it, you know, these are things that you think about when you're creating a recipe. So if you want a harder bar, you're going to need, you know, like 60% hard oils. And if you want um, a recipe that you're going to be able to to work with and you want to do a, a more of a, a pouring design and you want to have more time to do that and not worry about it getting too thick, you're going to want to have 60%, 50%, 60% liquid oils. So you have more time to work with it. So that's just one of the things I think about is like, what am I going to do with this? If I'm just going to make a plain soap and put it in the mold and not do anything fancy, then no, I don't really, I don't care if it gets thick, whatever, you know. But this, I'll just walk you through one of my recipes. So up here you have solid or liquid is what you choose. And of course, solid, you're going to be using sodium hydroxide. and liquid, you're going to be using potassium hydroxide. In the liquid soaps that I've made, I've used brambleberries, potassium hydroxide, and, I've, and I use their, um, their calculator for it. And my liquid soaps have always turned out very, very good with a 0% super fat. So that's something for you to think about in the future if you want to do that. But since we'll do this as a solid, and I always use ounces, we'll start uh, putting the oils in that I use. Four ounces of sweet almond oil. I have eight ounces of cocoa butter. Coconut oil is 22. jojoba oil is at two and since that one's a more expensive oil and it's not really an oil it's more of like a liquid wax but it's so expensive that I a lot of people don't use it as much anymore and when I do it's only a couple ounces I use 15 ounces of palm oil and I always use the organic sustainable palm oil, never the other one. And the shea butter, the shea butter and the cocoa butter that I use are not the refined ones. The cocoa butter I use is the one that smells like chocolate and the shea butter one has a little bit of a nutty smell and I'm, I'm okay with that, but some people like to use the refined one that doesn't smell and it's more white and it's almost kind of chalky. But I really like the unrefined shea butter. So there's 10 ounces of that. I have 6 ounces of avocado oil. And then 45 ounces of olive oil. Alright, and then once you get all your oils in... You're going to come down here and pick your super fat. And I normally super fat at 5%. Unless I'm doing something different like a milk soap or a, um, 
a recipe that's mostly coconut oil because then I'm going to seriously up my super fat for the coconut oil. If I'm going to do a, a milk soap, then I'm going to drop my super fat to about 3% to, you know, because of the extra fat in the milk, you don't need to have such a high super fat. So for this one, we're going to put it at 5. And all you got to do is hit calculate. And then your recipe pops up. And you have all, make sure you have everything entered correctly that you wanted. And then it gives you the percentage in the recipe. And then it tells you how much lye you're going to need. And then the ounces of liquid that it recommends. And this, remember, is at 33%. So if you want anything different, you're going to have to recalculate that yourself. And then if you need to resize it at all, you can change it here and then just click resize the batch. And then you can give your recipe a title and write any notes that you want. And then print it. I totally recommend printing and keeping your recipes in a binder. If you have the Brambleberry Soap app or if you're doing this online, you need to have a backup. You need to have your recipes backed up because phones can get lost, they can get stolen, they can break. You know, something can happen to it and your hard drive will fail. It's not a question of if it will, it's when it will. So you need to make sure everything is backed up. If you're doing anything on your computer, make sure it's backed up. Backed up to the cloud, backed up to a external source, something make sure that you have your recipes on hard copy so that you don't have to worry about losing them because so many people I've seen post in the soap groups on Facebook that they've lost all their recipes because their computer crashed. So make sure that does not happen to you. All right. Well, that's the Brambleberry calculator.